Hey everyone, welcome to another house tour. Today you join us in Marleybone in central London and we're on Devonshire Place. We're going to be showing you around 16 Devonshire Place, which is the building behind me. Now it's currently on the market for £20 million as the whole building, or well, there are six individual apartments for sale. It's been completely meticulously renovated over the last five years. This building was almost derelict before and it's had an absolutely incredible transformation. So you're gonna see that in this tour today. The developers on this project were Dow Estates and it's listed with Aston Chase and Beecham's estate agents. All contact information for any inquiries will be in the top of the description. But right now, let's start the tour. So there is a studio apartment down in the basement, but we're not gonna show you that first. We're gonna work through the main apartment, the seven and a half million pound one first. And so we're gonna head through the front door. Let's go check it out. All right, we're in the main entrance, the communal area. Summer and I are really excited to show you this place. We've had a brief tour around. It's incredible, isn't it, Summer? Yeah, and we're going to show you around all of them today. There are three furnished ones yeah. and three that are not furnished, but we thought we're just going to show you while we're here. Yeah, we love the interior design throughout. Um, again, it's always a much more positive experience when you find something that is your style. But let's carry on the tour. So if you take a look down to the floor, Summer, I just want to show you everyone watching that there are three different types of marbles in this floor and the idea is that when you come in it looks like 3d cubes and it's a lot easier to see in person it may not pick up on the camera but it's a really nice finish and you see the same quality of high standard even in the communal areas from the ground floor right the way to the top so another interesting thing on the staircase is we have these carpets now these are actually made from recycled ocean plastics and there's little details like that that you can't see, but it just makes someone like this feel that, that bit more special, doesn't it? So this is apartment number one in the building. This is the one we're gonna show you first. This is on the market for 7.25 million pounds, and it's a four bedroom duplex apartment. Let's go check it out. This apartment then is mostly new. And so the original building um, would end around here. And then everything that you can see beyond that is newly built. They had to excavate two levels to create this apartment. And you'll see more of that when we give you the tour. Now the flooring here is a solid oak flooring in a walnut tone. We've got an original fireplace just here with lots of storage space throughout, but a lovely entrance area. And this apartment is just over 3,500 square feet. So this whole area again is original building and this is going to be the open plan kitchen um, dining area. We've got a dining table over here at the moment with six seats. Check out these lights. These are all individually chosen by the team. Um, they're really, really cool because let me come around here. You can actually, oh, I don't know if I'm going to do this yeah, right. You can adjust them. Yeah. You can adjust the height, can't you? Yeah, move that little thing. And you can turn it on its side. Yeah, so as you can see, you can take it yeah. higher. You can actually turn the thing to point, the light to point down. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah that's what I was trying to figure out. Really cool lighting. Here's a Juliet balcony. Now this tree out here is really interesting because it was actually craned over, over the top of the building to be put down there. I love that tree in there. It's absolutely and, uh, incredible. Let's take a look at the rest of this apartment. Then we've got another original fireplace. This really is one of the most beautiful London apartments that I've seen. It feels more of a home. It does. You could live here as a family and the character features throughout are just beautiful. There are 3.6 meter high ceilings throughout this apartment on this floor. The center island has butterfly granite worktops, which honestly in person are absolutely beautiful you've got a boiling hot tap just here with its own individual sink and then finally a Miele induction hobs in the center of the island as well as a lot of other storage over here we've got Miele ovens four in total yeah so you've got this one's actually a microwave just here and then these are ovens around the outside this is the most special thing about this kitchen though so obviously it looks all closed at the moment Just like so, you can actually open the whole space up. It's 
It's very simple to do. That's the first time I've opened that. So it's very easy. And what this is perfect for is if you have guests around and there are pots and dishes and pans, you can very easily close them away, keep this space looking really minimal. Let's move over to the living area of the apartment. We're gonna go through these huge double doors. Again, I really like these sofas. They're really cool, aren't they? I love these sofas. This is really our style. Yeah. It just suits this apartment so much. This would be a perfect place to have as your central London pad, as yeah. well as a few other places dotted around the world. So we've got, again, an original fireplace here. The ceiling heights are amazing, as I mentioned, 3.6 meters. And then what I assume would have been an original doorway here, which is no longer needed. I'm just gonna quickly show you guys what the outlook um, looks like. Beautiful. Georgian buildings. This building is over 200 years old and it's actually got some really interesting history behind it. Amazing um, history, hasn't it? Yeah, Matt, do you want to tell them? Yeah, of course. So um, for those that know Sherlock Holmes, his solicitor actually lived in this building. Was so it? Sherlock Holmes would come here Yeah. Um, because obviously his solicitor lived Into here. this very building. Some and the royal solicitors. family have been treated here. Yeah. So it's famous solicitors and surgeons treated here, an incredible history. And when you learn about how these properties were built around 200 years ago with a lot of materials from old ships and everything, which actually show in the later apartments, uh, well, I can talk about them to you more anyway. It's really interesting, but let's carry on the tour. We move back out into the entrance hall um, where we do have WC here. Yeah, just a cute little toilet in there. You may remember, like I mentioned at the start, this is where the whole section is that's new. So this whole area is newly built and it is a listed building. So obviously there was a lot of restrictions, but they've done as much as they can to let an incredible amount of light in and make it the best space possible. So from here, you can look down to the tree that like someone mentioned was craned over this building. They had to close the road to actually do that. Um, and then we continue, we've got some more storage. Wow, this is so, so nice. Come on in. The formal living area. Wow. You can see that we've got a fire on at the moment, lovely and toasty. And then surrounding that, this is all marble. Let's continue and take a look at the back of this room where you've got access to a private ter terraced area. Now this is very rare in London, obviously to have outside space like this. And then all of those bricks there that you can see on the floor were hand built to create that pattern. And there's actually a lovely garden surrounding it as well. For anyone who likes interior design, the interior designer of this property is called the Decor Room because I am loving it. <laughs> so, yeah, really great choices. And it suits the building a lot. Okay, as we come back out, just wanna draw your attention to how much light we've actually got coming through here. If you take a look up, you can see how many large windows there are. And then from here, it's almost triple height and we're going to go down the staircase into the bedroom area. We've got exposed brick on this side. The feeling of space in here, although it's an apartment, it, it feels like you're in a large London townhouse just in this specific individual apartment here. Like there's so much space to show you down there. Before we do that, let's take a look at the bedrooms over here. So we've got two mirrored bedrooms with en suites. So we'll head down a couple of steps into this one. So it's a comfortable double bedroom with an ensuite just through there with a sliding door. Here's the shower. I actually love that they haven't put marble all throughout the bathrooms. Let us know down below, guys, what you're, you think, too. There's access to an outdoor terrace area through these doors, and this is the same with the apartment next door. And at the back, that cedar wood. We've got some wardrobe space in here. Lots more to see. Let's keep checking this place out, but I'm loving it so far. What about everyone watching this? Let us know in the comments your thoughts of this building. Let's see this other bedroom then. So, okay, wow. So it's basically a mirrored bedroom, yeah. isn't this it? This one does have a bath though, so it's slightly different. Oh. oh yeah, so if you prefer a bath, you'd choose this one. I think the biggest thing to highlight for me is although you are downstairs, it doesn't in any way feel like you're in a basement. This feels like the ground floor. There's so much light coming in. The ceiling heights are great. 
And so that's, I think, very important. Let's check this out. This is the main bedroom. So through double doors, we've got the main bedroom, of course. And then here you've got so much light coming in because of the windows at the top. Now, obviously you could put blinds. There's obviously curtains here if you want to make this space a little more private, but it would have been a shame to shut it off for that reason, especially if you're living here on your own. You can keep that all open, right? I think even if you have kids, obviously when it's nighttime, you can get the curtains closed. Yeah. But in the daytime, it's nice to have it open totally. and all of this light from up there is coming in. So in this bedroom, you've also got a walk-in wardrobe. Oh wow, that's yeah. a pretty good size. Ideal size and then a big mirror where we seem to have coordinated our outfit choices again today. <laughs> Matching outfits <laughs> by accident. <laughs> and moving on to the other side of this room, we of course have the ensuite. In here we have dual sinks, dual mirrors and a really generous sort of shower, as you can see. With your rainfall the head. Lid down. <laughs> there we go, that looks better. Yep. Yeah, that shower is lovely. It keeps getting better though, because even from here, you can go outside. Let's actually do that. There's a key in here. So I'm not sure whether it push or pull, push. Here's a look at the tree. Yeah. Lovely space. What I would do is I'd get some nice chairs out here. Yeah. Um, somewhere to sit and read and be very private. Like a little Zen garden. Yeah. Obviously in London, when you have gardens out the back, you, you're gonna have people looking in. Yeah. Whereas if you wanted to go out there and do some stretches or reading, nobody's private. looking at you. Yeah. Okay, now we've seen the bedrooms, there's still more to see. So follow us through, come this way and just a great feeling of space, very wide, some lovely exposed brick. And I really like this area. I don't know what specifically you could call it. Um, use it for whatever you want, really. It does work as a study area because you might as well make the most of this space. Yeah, I think they've, there was a good idea that they put that yeah. in. And you've also got access out to the terrace area out there. Now we're coming back into the original building. Um, we've got another bedroom through here see it's a very comfortable double bedroom and not just that it does have a walk-in wardrobe and then from there you go into your ensuite shower room this is a cool mirror um, let me just open it it's a circular mirror with storage oh that's cool does it open both yeah it opens both yeah, sides and this side too I feel like you have to have a mirror storage, otherwise all your stuff is just everywhere. It's everywhere. Rude. Hope everyone's enjoying this tour. If you are, make sure to subscribe to our channel. We've got lots more amazing houses to show you. This is a storage space. I think still important to show you as you need storage. Continue through here. We've then got the utility of the Siemens washer and space for other storage and then the plant room boiler room is just through there so finally in this particular apartment and remember there's still a lot more apartments in the area to show you especially the apartment upstairs that's oh, so cool can't yeah. wait for you to see it but yeah, you've got some more storage space through here and then actually a secret escape or entrance up here this will take you back out to the main communal area. And I'll just quickly pause because this area here, remember, remember it because we are gonna be touring a studio apartment, which is underground. It's about just over a million, 1.25, and you can actually knock through here. So if you, you wanted to buy this one and that one, you can knock through there and they'll be connected. Mm -hmm. Yeah, excited to show you that. that. That could be a great addition. You can see we're back out by the main entrance. If you turn around, this door is very much discreet. You wouldn't notice it on a glance. Okay, let's head up to the next apartment. As we continue up to the next floor, I just want to point out this is actually wallpaper here. 
And again, like I mentioned, you've got the recycled ocean plastic carpet. Lovely modern lighting throughout. Beautiful windows, radiators, and the lighting really works, the modern lighting. Wow, this is an incredible view. You have to let us know after you've checked out all the apartments in this video what your favorite is. Now, of course, the one downstairs is the biggest, but this one is particularly special in my eyes, and let's show you. Now, this one is two and a half million, and it's a one bedroom. Yeah, two and a half million pounds. This is what we're gonna check out. So we've got the kitchen area through here. Now this whole space, the living area is one large room. And again, this is all part of the original building. So we have absolutely incredible ceiling height and doesn't stop there. Check out the detail on this ceiling. Wow. And there's really awesome light, that black, actually you can see them up here. Yeah. These are lights from an Italian lighting company and it really lights up the detail on the ceiling. Without actually you having to look up and seeing light. Now the top of this kitchen, the worktop, is probably something you haven't seen before. It's actually zinc. And all of the cabinets, if you open one map. Here we go. These were all hand welded. It's a really interesting design. We've not seen it ourselves, but I think once it gets a bit of wear, it will kind of have it's that. One of those cool... things that get better with age. Yeah. What else gets better with age? <laughs> Wine. You. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice. We've got a Miele induction hob. And oven is down here. Got lots of drawers. This is quite interesting too. Like you can hang, hang your bits up here. <laughs> yeah. And now here is a sparkling water tap, which you double press to turn on. It just came on there as you can see. And we've got some more storage space this side. Now let's turn around and we can show you where we've got a dining table at the moment. We've still got the oak flooring throughout this particular apartment as well. This apartment would be perfect if you only come to London a few times a year. Yeah. You want a little bachelor pad because the fridge is small. It's not like a big family fridge. So this would be perfect as like a lock up and leave. Lock up and leave, come enjoy the city out most nights. Yeah. somewhere to crash in the evenings and it's perfect for that. So this is the living space in this room. Again, obviously your eyes are naturally drawn to this amazing fireplace. What you get is original and then rebuilt to obviously look this good. And here's a look back at this room. On the left side of me, we have three Juliet balconies. Um, and also you have a small bit of outside space I'll just quickly show you that. Just down here. So you could maybe have a barbecue or a chair outside. Now this apartment is 1,014 square feet in total. We've seen the living area. We're gonna go through these double doors and check out the bedroom space. So firstly, you've got these wardrobes. Now this, this surface, I know it's hard to see on the camera, is actually polished paper. Let's see what it's like inside. Oh, wow. <laughs> what is ASMR for feel? Oh, yeah. Oh, it's the nice texture, to... texture. Yeah. But I don't know what the specific science term is. This is the ensuite, which is kind of tucked away back here, which is a good design. Yeah. Oh, and wow, look at the ceiling. I know, that's what it's for. So they put these glass pieces in the top so that when you stood in the shower, you can, yeah. you can clearly see the... Um, ceiling and it's smoked or, or tinted at the top as well. And it's all original yeah. on the ceiling. It's I love the, the dark tones in here. It really is cool. Hats off to them. I think, would you say this is our favourite? Favorite? I think they are, yeah. yeah. Now, of course, we want to have property in other locations too, but to have somewhere like this in the best place in England, really, is, is cool. This is the bedroom segment of this particular area then, so you can see the ensuite is built behind. And so they really made the most of this room. You've got an incredible original fireplace. I love this bedroom. I'm trying to just keep talking about the serious points, but it's, it's so nice. It's the ceiling heights yeah. for me. 
I mean, it just makes the room feel huge. And, and you, I know you wouldn't want to put a TV on the wall, but having something here and this to look at as well. Oh, so a huge cool. art piece or yeah, yeah. A TV up there. And then this gorgeous like, day bed kind of seal with the large windows. And if you dream of the perfect London view, I feel like this is it. Wow. Okay, so that's two apartments out of all six. Now as we get higher, we're gonna to start to see some different layouts and you can start to see again which you prefer out of all of them. So let's go check out the next one now. Okay, let's head up to the next floor. Again, just take a look while we're walking up at all the amazing details in this communal area. Beautiful townhouses and apartments surrounding us. And so from this level, there's also a lift or elevator for those that use that term. Okay, so we've got apartment number three through here. And is this one furnished or? No, I don't believe this one is. We're in flat three now, and this is a two bedroom apartment and it's priced at 2.15 million pounds and 933 square feet total. If you come through the entrance door directly opposite, we've got uh, storage and kind of a utility with a Siemens washer nicely integrated into there. So do you want to show us this apartment and okay. the rest? Okay. Here is the kitchen diner or kitchen lounge, whatever you choose. Siemens induction hob on the kitchen for this one. Now, the other kitchens were a darker tone, weren't they? But this one's a nice light gray. Oh. Oh, that's cool. What have we got down there? Wow, lots of drawers. Yeah, that looks good. And Siemens oven on the left. And I'm guessing this is the fridge. Yeah, Siemens fridge and freezer below. Yeah, freezer below. Gorgeous fireplace in here. Wow. Now let's go and check out the bedrooms. We have two bedrooms in this apartment. Also, I think this is just like the telecom or if anyone buzzes you from outside, you can just let them in. You've got them in each apartment? Yeah. Here's the first bedroom. You'd have your bed against that wall and then your wardrobe space is to the left of me. Uh, you have drawers and a hanging rail. So this, in the original house, this level would be where the bedrooms start. Yeah. So the height, the ceiling heights are slightly different and yeah. I think that's what makes, for me, the apartment downstairs so special. Definitely. So it would have been a living area. This is the next bedroom. This one has its own um, ensuite, if you want to go around the corner. Yeah, I'll go check it out. I love when there's fireplaces in the bedrooms. Agreed. And you have storage in here too. Okay. Lastly is the family bathroom with a shower over bath. And that's it for this flat. So shall we go on up? Yeah, I think the next one we're gonna see might maybe furnished again. So here's the lift. Should we, the, should we go up the stairs? Yeah, let's take the stairs. Look at this original detailing too with the arch. Okay, so we have arrived at flat four. This one is priced at 2.55 um, million. What number is this? Number flat four. Four, yep. And the square footage of this one is 1,122. As you can see when you come in, this is where the lift would be. Kind of blends in, it does like a normal door. It's good that the lift is directly into your apartment. Now this one is furnished and it's, it's quite similar to the one we showed you just then. Yeah. Um, so the same storage cupboard with washing machine. Now the kitchen has an island. For me, this is definitely a huge benefit having an island in the kitchen. Yeah, totally. But in terms of this side, it's quite similar to the one I just showed you with Siemens induction hob and oven over here. And the freezer and fridge are over here as well. And bin storage. You've got a boiling hot water tap in the center. Yeah. What a fireplace, wow. Wow. 
That is stunning. You definitely feel a lot high. I know you were yeah. obviously high now, but when you look out and you can see the top of the other buildings. This living area is nice. And this one's got an additional dining room and another fireplace in here. Let us know down below, guys, which one you love the most. Bedrooms. This gives you more of a perspective with the bed in it. Obviously the one that was empty, it's quite hard to imagine. Yeah. But a good double-sized bed, storage, and your drawers. Similar bathroom to the one we just showed. And this will be the main bedroom. And um, we've got gorgeous views out to houses at the back and an ensuite to the right of me. And that's the thing, just like you said, then it really just depends what you like. So although you've got views is out to the back of other houses, some may feel like that's overlooked, but that's actually a feature in itself to be able yeah. to look at the nice buildings and be part of the character. They are just beautiful yeah. buildings. Um, yeah, yeah exactly. Nice. That one's done. Yeah. Should we go to the last one? Yeah, one more to see. And then we've got to go down to the studio one. Yes, and talk end. about how you could use that in the main apartment as well. Yeah. I think I would be using the lift yeah. if I lived on this floor because there's a lot of steps. I'm actually feeling a bit out of breath already. <laughs> um, so this is the lift here. Yeah, and this goes directly into your apartment. Now this one isn't furnished. Let's start from this room. This also is a duplex, so there's a room at the top. You've got your bathroom through here. Now I believe this would be master bedroom? Yeah, main bedroom. Let me just put the light on. Yeah. And the ensuite is around that corner. You've got dual sinks in here. And the shower's over there. There's actually a lot of storage there is, in yeah. this room. You have four wardrobes on that side and four to this side. I think this is the perfect building if you want something modern, contemporary, new, but in a character building. Yeah. Let's just take a minute to appreciate how big it would be if you bought the whole house. Imagine if like, you had this building and it was your entire house. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. That is for some people though, right? That's the reality for the few, yeah. Kitchen with an island, or I think it's actually called a peninsula when it's off the wall. Yep. Siemens ovens and the induction hob. Yeah. This wash is usually next to the sink, yeah. There we go. And then from this room, this, this area would be your living dining space. And let's show you the view outside. So that's all the apartments inside, but we do have, well, I technically the studio is inside, so we do have one more to show you. Um, I'll meet you guys back outside at the front of the building as it has got a separate entrance. So I'll meet you there. Back out the front, we're gonna head outside now. And if you're not familiar with London, I thought it'd be good to show you guys the street as well. So here's a look down at Devonshire Place. It's absolutely beautiful. And you're half a mile away from Regent Park and half a mile from the Marleybone High Street. This street is absolutely stunning, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful street, beautiful houses everywhere. Okay, so this is the separate entrance for the studio. Come down these steps. Watch your step, Matt, with that camera. Come on in. This is flat six, so it's a studio. It's around 729 square feet, and it's priced at 1.25 million. Um, you've got the kitchen around the corner, which we'll show you in a second, but this would be your main living space. They've put the glass partition up here, which you can see, which um, would separate your living space with the bedroom. And you have a lot of storage, actually, um, for the bedroom. Yeah, you've certainly got all the storage you need. It would be a bit worrying if you were living in a studio and needed a lot more yeah. storage than that, of course. And this would be where we mentioned yeah. at, in the first apartment where I said you could knock through. And this is the stairs that you can see there. Yeah. 
So you could have all of this as a guest suite in that other apartment. And down here, Matt, I'll let you just go in. Yeah, yeah, that is the um, shower room. Here we go, so we've got a single sink, shower up there, and the toilet at the other side. Okay. Now let's show you guys the kitchen. Here it is. It's an interesting because it's you're in like it feels like a little tunnel. Yeah, it does. So that's the sink area. And the induction hob and oven. Let us know down below. Comment which one you guys would buy. Um, and why? And why? Yeah. Okay, let's go back out. Finish it upstairs. Okay, so that just brings us to the end of the tour. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and like for more videos. And make sure you're commenting down below what you think to this incredible property. Hopefully we can get into some more London central properties. They are quite difficult to film, obviously, but yeah, we're here to show you the best real estate we possibly can. <laughs> See you soon.